My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Alright. I got through this puzzle simply by moving around the orbs as you saw and flipping the switches. Alright, so here are some platforms that lower and raise depending on if they're powered. If we remove the power there, you see it lowers all the way. Power back up and it raises, and now we can move to the next platform and then just rinse and repeat. And lastly, pull that orb, put it in the receiver, and we're good to go. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. I'm not sure. So Fortuna is in low or low orbit around Europa, can house a crew of 12. It serves as communication and transport link between Earth and Europa's surface base. Okay. Hit E again, and that's Jupiter. Do it again. Jupiter. Second largest physical body in our solar system. It has a large gravitational impact, which stretches and squashes Europa. This creates geothermal energy inside Europa, a source of great heat. This has created a subsurface ocean. And I'm supposing that's where they found this organism. Europa's surface is constantly facing Jupiter as it rotates because it is tidally locked to it. Though it has now been discovered that the rocky interior rotates separately underneath the ice and water layers. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I wonder if that's actually true. Alright, that's all of those. Is canceled, but I'm not sure. There's a bunch of dates. I don't know what's been canceled. Oh, okay. So this this is a supply log, and you can see that there are many uh, supply runs that have arrived, and a few that were aborted or canceled until um, something crashed. So you see in the upper right monitor, it says it arrived and then something crashed, 2246, February 10th. And then after that, we have some more arrivals and then we have a bunch of canceled and after that, everything is canceled. I guess June 23rd, 2250. I think I woke up... I thought I, thought I said May 13th. Man, see, these dates are really throwing me for a loop. Hmm. Here's a shipping manifest. Everything got cancelled. I don't see anything really on here that's giving me any new information except that it was cancelled. Let's listen to these audio logs. Tom, start recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. 
I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. We're going to run out of the necessary resources to continue studying Organism 119. You're calling for a grounding of all your rope transport until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic. So in that last one, she referenced Organism 019. I guess that's Organism 19. Does that mean that they've discovered 18 other alien organisms in the solar system? That's kind of cool. All right, so this is the landing bay that we arrived at earlier. Europa's ground base was built using thousands of tons of resources shipped to Europa through an interplanetary network. Europa base modules, they are damaged and repair is disabled. Europa's base is built beneath Europa's surface, buried in Thera Macula's ice. Its modular nature allows it to be reconstructed according to the mission's needs at any time. Okay. A drilling platform. It's operational. Europa's drilling platform is the largest outside of Earth. At 40 meters high, it is one of the tallest machines on any moon. The drill has bored to a depth of over 4 kilometers and recovered over 1 million kilograms of material from deep underneath the surface. This level of extraction is made possible by utilizing the Ashiyama Electric Fusion Reactor. I guess that's how they discovered the organism. All right, now we're back to the loading bay. Okay, what's this thing? It's like a flight recorder. Digital audio broadcasting. I don't know what that is. Some more monitors, <laughs> consumables. Frozen meals, vegetarian. Tortillas, noodles, great. A lot of stuff I can pick up, but uh, it doesn't seem to be very interesting. A little headset, radio. And here's the crew. Ava Turing is American. And she's the engineer. Some personal bio on a second screen. So there's three screens. There's a the vitals data. Our last known location, that's where I am now is the control room. And I'm assuming all of this is from Tom's perspective, the AI. Um, I'm in the control room. I'm from Germany, and I'm an engineer. Okay. Sochi. Her last known loca location was the crew quarters, but she's currently unknown. She's separated. And then Mikael. He is in the crew quarters, but now they don't know where he is. He's the doctor. And Sochi is exobiologist. Yeah. 
Here's Captain Chris McLean. He is from Canada. He's the engineer. Um, that's interesting. So she has a current task, current objective of synthesize DNA duplicates of sample 937. Investigate sample 937. Classify all life recovered. Sequence sample 1387 through 1500. Okay. But Mikkel, <laughs> his current objective is terminated and his outstanding task is to keep calm. Whereas uh, Captain McLean is has no outstanding tasks. Oh look, his current location is the exterior. So it's not unknown. But his last known location, shouldn't these be the same if we know where he is? Nah, whatever. Um, his body temperature is minus 160 degrees. Oh, okay, so he's dead. <laughs> yeah, that explains it. Look, are they... Wait a second. Oh, I am confused. This is Chris McLean. He looks to be like the twin brother of Captain Daniel McKean, McLean. He's the captain. Okay. His current object. So, so Chris is the dead one. Daniel is classified uh, objectives. Oh. I guess I didn't want me to see that. Okay. And then there's Dr. Sarah Brooke, yeah, another exobiologist. Current objective, classify organism, classify all life recovered. Okay. And let's see. Crew quarters. So we know that he's dead because he's at minus 160 degrees and the rest are last known location is in the crew quarters. So now we can move on. I got my little gun back up. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. So Chris is definitely dead. <laughs> and Daniel is unknown, and there are other three well, we presume to find them in here. Okay. Hmm. But I don't know why I expected that to work. Okay. Let's see. It stand here and here. All right, that worked. As you can see, I was able to grab two of the energy orbs at the same time in this gun. It's got a, it's got slots for it looks like three. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Okay, so I have a, a box uh, that I need to move up on this platform. And there's a ladder over here, but I can't carry boxes up the ladders. Fortunately, you look over here you'll see a magnet that we can operate here and use it to pull up this box there it is and then we just slide it on over here to this raised platform where I can walk up and grab it plug it in thus power the door oh and now there's another another little situation so I've got another box Okay, I think the magnet 
Yeah, the magnum will go there. Okay, pick up the box. Go on the other side of that wall. And now I'll be able to grab it off the magnet. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. That is a really cool bridge. I'm not really sure why you would ever need a bridge not to be extended, but it's cool nonetheless. Okay, I've got a bridge, a magnet, a green room over here. I think that's just to grab my attention. All right, I think what we need to do is use the magnet to, oh, at first we have to use this thing uh, to rotate the bridge. We use this lever to rotate the bridge. Now we can come over here and use the magnet. However, first we grab this orb out of that receiver and now we can power the magnet because as you see the box is under it but it is not currently working. So there's the receiver on the opposite side conveniently located. Okay. Now we cross the bridge. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this magnet so that it's going to be over where that bridge is when we rotate it back. And then when we remove the orb from the magnet and depower it, it'll drop the box right where we want it. Okay. There's the box. All right, great. So. Power that one. Power that one. And now I have to pull this one because the bridge will retract. Alright. Excellent. 